Hello, welcome to Yellow Door Urban Homestead. I am Asia and I'm an urban gardener growing in a small space out of my backyard. Listen, <laughs> it's bright out here, sorry. I'm about to harvest my first cabbage ever. My first fully grown, hard, like dense cabbage. And I am so excited because if you've been here for a while, you know I do not grow cabbage well. But you know what I figured out this year? I figured out that I'm not leaving them long enough. So, I guess in the winter, not I guess, I know in the winter, things grow slower. And so, where I'm thinking, you know, my 90 days, like, winter is 90 days. <laughs> you know, something like that. Close to something like that. Um, and so, I was coming out at the end of winter thinking I should have cabbages by now. And then watching other channels where they had cabbages already. And I was like, why am I not getting cabbages? This year, I left two. Two that seemed like they were heading up and I just left them. So today is March the 31st and I have cabbage heads, y'all. So we about, to, we about to harvest these cabbages. I'm so excited. So this is one, you see that? Like super dense head. And of course, I pull my stuff out now. So we're gonna pull it out. I just finished watering. And uh, so it's a little moist over here. This is a flat Dutch, but oh my goodness, I'm so excited. We are definitely having cabbage for dinner tonight. <laughs> So exciting right like I'm just excited some leaves and stuff in there but I'm just very excited that I grew that cabbage <laughs> and so we have another one over here too that is hard and ready to go so excited so pull that one out pretty deep <laughs> and a nice root system too I was so excited y'all so excited like I don't even know what to say I'm so excited we got to pull some of the outer leaves off but we haven't cabbage tonight this had quite a few slugs inside of it but imagine imagine having such a hard time growing something and then all of a sudden one year one year it just grows I'm so excited all right, the other thing we're gonna do is go ahead and harvest the greens that are not bolting yet, which I am surprised there are greens that are not bolting yet because it has been right warm here in, in the state of Virginia. <laughs> uh, but we do have some that are bolting. I will show y'all, I wanna show y'all something else. Do y'all remember when we had those two plants? Now, one of them then went to seed, but we had two kale that seemed like they weren't gonna grow. They were really small and I was like, I'm gonna leave them. And, I'm gonna show y'all one of those, but let's harvest a little bit. Still have some kale that's still growing. So we're just gonna take it in the house and preserve it so we can eat it throughout the summer when I don't have any. Um, I did plant some more kale over in the other bed. It didn't look like it stunted. Those them seedlings I was not taking care of. <laughs> my chickens are hollering this morning. By the way, one of my chickens is dying. Um, We've looked up a few things. We gonna, we gonna go ahead and harvest this. When she finished hollering, I'ma finish telling y'all. a harvest of greens today i don't think there's any more uh there is swiss chard that we can harvest right there it's beautiful and i moved some of these two of these from another spot over there because this is where i want them for my summer garden and they did perfectly i made sure that i took as much soil as i could so it wouldn't seem like i was transplanting them and i mean like they look beautiful I can't wait for like the season to come and for them to keep growing because um, it's going to be a beautiful pop of color in the bed. But like I was saying, um, I have a chicken who is passing away. Um, I 
unfortunately, or for her probably, cannot bring myself to um, call her uh, in a humane way. So uh, we are making her comfortable, but we will be down one chicken. Um, I don't want to say what I think it is because I am not a uh, vet or anything. I don't know where we have a vet in this area. So one that I told you they were fighting, like the whole like flock was fighting her. And we took her out because I was like, I don't understand why they're fighting her. Someone over on Instagram said, maybe they know she's sick. I didn't realize she was sick. Um, but she is sick. And I don't know that's that I don't want to talk about it long but um, yeah she is sick um, and you know doing YouTube uh, people will notice that I don't have seven chickens and so I just wanted to put it out there um, so we're gonna move on to some other things that we need to do today one of which is remember I planted nasturtiums too early they survived. <laughs> they survived. They're still in the smaller greenhouse. And so we're going to go ahead and plant them in the new bed that we put up. By the way, someone said to me um, that the top, the, the bars on the top of that bed were for the bottom. That bed actually had bars at the bottom and the top. So um, that's just how it was. So the bars do belong there. They had them on the bottom and the top, I guess, to hold it together. And someone said that it looked a little bent. It does. I, I don't mind it. It's okay. I mean, I don't think it's going to fall over or anything. I don't. That doesn't bother me. I am i don't do uh, super perfect over here, if that makes sense. There's a few other things y'all asked me, and I have not been getting to my comments, and I apologize for that, but I am reading every last one of them. Someone asked what size bags I use. They are seven-gallon bags. I got them from Amazon. Um, they are always linked below. A uh, few people have asked me about this seat. This seat is from Home and Garden Trends, also always linked below. A uh, few people have asked about the trellises. They are cattle panel. I got them from Tractor Supply. Um, I have cut them. So some of them, like the one when you come into the garden, that big one, I did not cut that. The ones that are to the further side, I did not cut those either. But where you see them actually in the garden beds and you see them shorter than normal cattle panels, I did cut those uh, because that's, you know, the size that I wanted them. But people are asking, how did I get them home? Uh, my stepfather has a truck and we actually bent them. And then I, I, we like three or four of us stood on them to, to stretch them back out. And that's how we got them home. That's how we got them uh, stretched back out. And that's also how I got them to the size that I wanted them. So I grabbed my phone because I screenshotted a lot of the questions. Oh, I, I'm almost falling. <laughs> because I was going to do a Q&A video. So we can mix this in as like Q&A too. Uh, but the other thing I want to do is show you the winter sewing jugs. That did amazingly if you haven't ever done winter sewing it's one of the easiest ways to uh, start plants where you don't have to leave them inside you don't have to have artificial light you don't have to harden them off our last predicted frost is april the 5th so i'm gonna go ahead and open these up now hold on, let me tell y'all what i did <laughs> I don't know if y'all remember I had started some seeds and I didn't take care of them and so I didn't throw the soil away right I just put the soil back in the bag that is how how um, resilient seeds are because there's all kind of things growing in all of these aside from what I actually planted like right here I think we have a snapdragon but this is actually parsley <laughs> So we have a few things growing in here. I'm not sure what this is. Um, I can't tell. But this is the parsley. So we have more parsley. My parsley went to seed last year. Um, I believe parsley is biannual. I'm sorry. I keep looking over there. But it is. my chickens are like wild this morning. Oh, and I did get the sand down. If you follow me on Instagram. I got so much I want to tell y'all. Can y'all tell? 
<laughs> I did get the sand down to level their coop because it's about to be warm. And I had never thought that in my urban area we would ever see things like possums. But last year we were fighting a possum. I think it came three times. So I want to make sure that we can close them in because during the winter we really didn't close the coop. Mostly because it has settled and nothing was really out. But I don't want that possum to get my to get my chickens. <laughs> <laughs> all right the next thing we have is some sage and i had opened these before because there was a lot of lettuce that grew in here in all of them and so i just took the lettuce out and planted it and then left the ones that were in here so there is a definitely a huge weed in here also that i'm just gonna pull out but we're opening these and leaving them open at this point pretty sure that's a snapdragon too <laughs> Um, this might be a weed as well. I really don't know. I think that's a weed. I don't think we got any sage, but I already have sage in my garden. So, so that's cool. I wanted more sage for, uh, you know, where we're going to turn the flower bed into a herb area, but it's all right. And I think sage, I'm pretty sure I could uh, propagate it. Um, so these are straw flowers and we have some straw flowers in there. That may be what's in the other one. Um, it was given snapdragon, but could also be straw flowers because I had tried to grow straw flowers, didn't pay attention to it. Now, this is one I didn't open. It's the snapdragons, uh, and it has a lot of lettuce in it. So, we're gonna take that lettuce out eventually, but if you look down there, it's a whole bunch of snapdragons. Little baby snapdragons in there too. So we'll need to, um, We'll need to pot them up, probably, but just showing you, it's a easy way to start your seeds and not have to pay attention to them much. This is foxgloves. So many foxgloves and snapdragons mixed in there. <laughs> it happens. So the next one we have is asters. It was a mix of them, different colors, and... Got a few asters, but also some snapdragons in there, too. We only got one hollyhock. Uh, kind of how it happens to me often, for whatever reason. But we got one hollyhock. And so much chamomile. So much chamomile. Mixed with lettuce. <laughs> That's the chamomile. Amazing. We have thyme. Got some thyme. I believe this thyme. Could be a weed, I'm not sure. <laughs> I had to look it up. And we have the deal, which probably needed to be open a little while ago, but I'm gonna get that planted soon too. Deal likes the cooler temps, and there's some snapdragons in there. <laughs> so we're just gonna open them at this point. Let them keep growing until I can get around to getting them planted where they should be. Okay, so now that we have harvested things, I want to just show y'all kind of the up. Oh. <laughs> you know what you didn't see? You know what you didn't see? The pool is gone. Are y'all excited? I'm excited. It's in the trash. We got to take that down. My son is gone, so I have to take the trash down to the curb myself this week. And I don't like it. <laughs> Me and my daughter are going to do it. So we got a whole bunch of stuff. We were redoing her room, too. So remember I told y'all y'all probably going to get more videos. You didn't get more videos because we were redoing her room and it is so cute. Um, if you follow me over on my vlogging channel, that's where it will be. I have been slacking there just like I've been slacking here. And let me just be clear, I have not been slacking. I have had a lot going on. So it was more of, uh, you know, controlling my emotions and getting myself together and stuff like that. And so, um, you know, you have to protect your energy and you have to be able to do what you can when you can. And so I am sorry that I have been a little bit uh, distant and, you know, posting videos and stuff, but I'm not going nowhere. I just, uh, with my anxiety and stuff, I have to be able to do it when I can and I want to be able to do it, you know, authentically. And I, But I don't want to be putting up sad looking slow videos either so with that being said i'm back i'm posting y'all don't don't think i'm going nowhere but when i have moments i just give myself that time i give myself that grace but i ain't going nowhere <laughs> so remember i said i wanted to show y'all do y'all remember this little kale that was looking so sad over here it's starting to grow 
it is starting to grow there's two of them apparently but it's starting to grow i'm so excited right things are going to see girl i understand why she keep hollering as soon as i start talking she don't want me to be great today <laughs> she don't want me to be great give me a minute i'll be back Okay, so as I was saying, a lot of things are starting to go to seed. I'm letting them. Um, this is, I believe it was a collard. I'm not going to save the seeds from this one because um, I have lots of collard seeds. But it's so pretty to me, though, you know, that they're going to seed. I am going to save the seeds from this purple kale because if you remember, I, uh, I got my fall starts from the feed and seed store. And so I don't have any of those purple... Uh, uh, collars they were beautiful they were very good for making kale chips they were delicious right and somebody asked me um, about kale chips and do I dehydrate them I don't dehydrate them I just put them in the oven with a little bit of oil and whatever seasoning and then I just let them cook they're absolutely delicious too so if you haven't tried kale chips that's really all I do um, and this purple variety was really good for uh, making kale chips it was delicious and do y'all remember all of that lettuce that we had put in in the fall and it was really small? And then I moved some of it over here. Look at it. The lettuce is now starting to grow again. <laughs> So that's the whole overwintering thing. So you just let it stay in the garden over winter and then it will start growing again when the temperatures and things are right. So yeah, that is the lettuce growing. Um, we have some carrots left in the garden too. I pulled two this morning, but they're still growing. Let me show you the two that, that I pulled this morning. Um, they were nice size. Well, at least one of them was a nice size. And y'all know my... Um, Curiosity always gets me. What do they say? Curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> so if I had left it, it probably, they probably would have got bigger. But look at that. Harvested some carrots this morning. Carrots that I did not grow in a bag. I actually grew them in a garden bed. So super excited. Yes, I'm going to pull the tops off of these. I'm just out here chilling and I figured I'd bring y'all along with me. So... This is what we've gotten so far this morning. Super excited about that. Those cabbages are like my most exciting thing. <laughs> All right, my friend is out here. We're gonna go do a little bit of shopping later for her room. Still working on getting like little knickknacks and things and pictures. But it, I mean, it's so cute. She has a hanging chair in her room. Like, we love it. <laughs> so another thing, look at the, uh, we lost some of the flowers cause we had a freeze. But this is a peach tree. And we have so many flowers on that peach tree. I'm so excited. This one also has flowers and the leaves and stuff are coming back. I'm so excited, y'all. Like super duper excited. Uh, girl, this grapevine. <laughs> and it's starting to like flower. I should have cut this a while ago. But we're going to get out here and get this grapevine uh, cut back too. But what I wanted to show you too is the comfrey is coming back so pretty like it's over here too and then the um oregano also coming back beautiful that rosemary is getting bigger uh the one over here is still going i couldn't tell if this was a weed or not i'm pretty sure it's a weed <laughs> i need to pull it it's huge if it's not a weed somebody tell me but it's giving weed all of that lavender that we put here is, you know, it didn't die back. So I'm happy about that. And we put the pollard trees over here too. So I'm excited about that too. Uh, the thyme is looking good. I'm going to probably harvest some of this because I want a lot of thyme. I have been using thyme medicinally for probably two seasons now, like when we get colds and stuff, and it works. And so I wanna make sure I have a lot of that saved. You do have to take it more often, drink it more often, whatever, but it does work. And these bushes, these are the rose bushes that I still ain't cut, I need to. Uh, this is where the raspberry was, but I had cut it all the way back. It's growing. <laughs> I think this is parsley. Um, there are strawberries in here. This is my first lavender. Pretty sure that just died, which is fine. Um, I had planted a whole bunch more, so we're not going to trip too much. This rose bush then fell over, so I need to either stake it and then, you know, trim it, but it needs to be done. Uh, this is a Shasta Daisy. It's coming back. Beautiful. Really big 
beautiful plant once it grows with pretty daisies on it. So the other thing is these were the cabbage collards. I am going to save seed for those because I don't have any seeds for them. Um, so yeah, we're going to save those seeds. A lot of things are going to seeds. But y'all, look at all these blueberry flowers too. Like there are so many flowers. Oh, didn't notice that. I already have blueberries on this one. Very nice. Might have to cover them soon because the birds will be headed my way. <laughs> I've had to cover them last year too because the birds, and I want the blueberries. Look at this. They're so pretty. It's so pretty. Like blueberry flowers are very pretty to me. Hope y'all can see them. Anywho, over here, the mint is starting to come back. Now, this is a pot I need to refill because this is where my chamomile is going to go. The fever few, like the leaves, never even died back. I just don't have flowers, but they never even died back. Uh, this is some hyssop that came back, and it is beautiful. Uh, the marshmallow is working on coming back, too. So, good little perennial area over here. And I believe my chamomile would have come back too, except um, that that soil just went out of the... I don't know where the soil went. <laughs> I have no idea where the soil went. So we're going to fill that back up. Um, and then we're going to put the chamomile in there. We'll probably do that sometime this week. So happy for the fact that it is daytime longer right now because I can come home from work and get stuff done. By the way, my potatoes are coming up too. <laughs> so we got potatoes coming up and most of the bags i don't think there's any in there right here there's one over here so super excited super excited that uh the potatoes are coming up i love digging potatoes it's like one of my favorite vegetables to grow and one of my favorite vegetables to harvest it's like a surprise every time um but that's kind of what's going on in the garden it doesn't look like much but it's gonna come along y'all oh by the way look at this Somewhere along the line, I left some onions or some shallots or something. So they're about to go to seed, which I've never had happen. And I'm going to save these. It may have been a red onion. I'm really not sure. But I have a few of them around the garden. There's one over there that's like that. Then there's one down there that's like that. So we're going to save those for seed. And we'll have those for next year. Um, the peas are looking good. They're finally coming up. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get a harvest because last year I planted them out much earlier, but they are growing. So I'm excited about that because peas out the garden, absolutely delicious. <laughs> very, very delicious. Oh, and the asparagus, some of it you can see is starting to grow up. Like the skinnier ones, I'm leaving them. The larger ones, I'm eating them straight out the garden because listen, this early in the season, they are very sweet. Like, And the first time I tried them, straight out of the garden i was like oh this is disgusting <laughs> but it was later in the season but like early spring eating asparagus straight out the garden absolutely delicious so the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and get these nasturtiums out of this greenhouse and plant it into that greenhouse but i have to water that soil really really well first all right we're in the greenhouse it is so clean in here still need to put the weed barrier down we still have ants for whatever reason but i think if i put the weed barrier down that might help table is cleared off we haven't done anything um and so we're gonna wet this up really well this one is like cement i don't know i, I gotta figure something out they do not look the best y'all <laughs> but they'll bounce back i'm gonna put them over here in the greenhouse now Okay, well, that's going to take a few hours to get that stuff soaked in. So, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I'm hungry and ready to eat and something smell good out here. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to visit me over on Instagram where I post about the things going on in the garden almost every day. Bye, y'all.